Weston McKenney, Paul Pogba, Max Allegri and all the supporters from all around the world that wants to do even more, not only being silent anymore and being passive, but want to be active to support Juventus even more than they already did in the past. We'll talk about all these important topics in today's video, but first of all, reminder, 9.30 p.m. Italian time, 3.30 in New York, so pay attention to where you are located in the world, Romeo Agresti, journalist that is covering Juventus from Italy, from Torino will be here on the channel not for me I know him I have his number whatsapp number whatever we are talking a lot of time no he's there for you for the fans of Juventus to answer the question because it will be a live and not a pre-recorded video we will talk about McKenny if he leaves who will come in Max Allegri is it true the voice of 2027 tell us a bit more expert voices he will be there so if you are missing him it's your responsibility it is not mine Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you're all doing well, again I'm super excited towards the live of this evening with Romeo Agresti, always a pleasure, it's not the first time that he's here, but he will be here again, super super happy, but we have to speak already now to prepare a bit the live of this evening about Weston McKenney. apparently yesterday Fabrizio Romano, also Di Marzo and a lot of other journalists like Giovanni Albanese and so on, they tweeted that Weston McKenney has accepted Leeds United contract proposal personal terms are absolutely not an issue it's on Leeds and Juventus now so the player finally said yes to a club after refusing Bournemouth Fulham Aston Villa and other low table relegation table teams of Premier League he was expecting something bigger Arsenal Tottenham, Bundesliga, maybe Dortmund, after saying no, waiting for these big teams that never arrived at the moment, well, apparently he said yes to Leeds. The two clubs are now discussing on the condition of the deal to understand how to proceed in new round of talks. This has been reported by Fabrizio Romano. It's not yet a here we go. But if we are taking everything into consideration, since the summer we are speaking about Weston McKinney on this channel, that he is a possible player that could leave. Why? Too many midfielders in Juventus, we know it, too many, also with the explosion of young midfielders that are starting really to play game after game, Fagioli for example, well Mr. McKenney at the moment he's playing on the right side of the field, it's not his role, it is not his role, we are too much, so... Juventus to cash in and to maybe go on another player we need to sell and Weston McKinney after saying no to all of them he finally said yes apparently to Leeds I didn't understand because when I was watching the ranking of Premier League I was thinking Leeds was maybe fifth maybe sixth with the possibility to enter the Champions League well no because at my big surprise they are 15th if he says no to Bournemouth that is 18th and that have uh, not a lot of points difference one point difference with the Leeds why is he saying yes why is he not going to Fulham that is seventh for example well yesterday during the live some people told me attenzione Beppe because it's Leeds United the team that is playing in total white there are some American players like Aronson Brendan Aronson young player 22 that is playing for USA but not only him also Tyler Adams that impressed me a lot during the World Cup the both of them are playing for Leeds United so it will be a USA presence in the Premier League not only because there is also the coach Jesse March a USA coach so a lot of American boys and that could have potentially attracted Weston McKinney to say yes if I can't have the offers from Arsenal Tottenham Dortmund teams that I really wanted to go to, then maybe I have to choose for a project, a project of feeling happy, being happy with people that I already know, so I have already some security, could be the potential, so what is Juventus doing, we'll ask the question, more question to Romeo Agresti this evening, but what is Juventus doing, they are saying, you know what, if really the deal goes through, we will try, we can't go for a top, top, top talent on the right side, but we will try to close some deals, so you have the name of Joachim Mela that is coming back the one from Atalanta on loan or definitely I don't know it's true that it's a player from 25 so it's still young he knows Serie A we already spoke a lot about him my question is okay it's a player that is predominantly playing on the left side of the field he can play on the right side but he loves to start from the left is he really the player that we need even if he can be a backup on the right side I am not sure about Joachim Mela even if he scored a goal versus Juventus also there starting from the left side then there is another name curiosity Emil 
Hulm, the player from Spezia, 22, much younger, three, or three years younger than Mele. He's a real player that can play in a four or five man defense, four as a right back or as a right wing back, because he's able to cover all that right side of the field. He can be a potential player that I would love to welcome in my team. There is still the name of Karsdorf somewhere that you know it, problems with Roma, like Zaniolo, for example, let's see. So what are the reasons? I already told you, too many midfielders. We have the necessity to cash in Weston McKennie that we bought from Schalke 04 can bring you a plus Valenza and if you see the explosion of a player like uh, Nicolo Fagioli that is only second behind Luis Alberto in terms of goals, assists and received penalties in terms of average minutes because Luis Alberto he has one of these goals, assists or received penalties every 115 minutes while Nicolo Fagioli second with 118 minutes which is a really beautiful score for the young player that will celebrate soon his birthday on the 12th of February so you know you have these explosions with actually McKenny that is going further and further away in the hierarchies of that midfield and it makes totally sense to sell McKenny even if I respect the sacrifices that he did to cover that right side while we had nobody because the Chilio Quadrado but whatever player was absolutely not available Speaking about a flashback card that a lot of people are speaking about, the flashback card of Paul Pogba in FIFA. Well, look at that. Beautiful card, fantastic card, whatever you want. In a way, I like it, but what is interesting me more is that on Sunday, with high chances, high probabilities, we will have this flashback card, not in the game of FIFA, but we will have him on the field, because finally Pogba will be back in Serie A versus Monza. There is a last test that will be organized tomorrow versus the next gen between Juventus A and Juventus next gen. That means that Pogba and Dusan Vlaovic will be on the field to test. If the responses are right and correct and good, Pogba has high chances to be there. Some people are even saying he could potentially even start with I don't believe but you never know in life Vlaovic could be on the bench he's a bit behind of Pogba but the test of tomorrow will reveal a lot of things we go to the sentimento popolare to the people because apparently the people are going in revolt revolution no not revolution they are going in revolt because the revolt is growing. The people of Juventus said, stop, basta, like Tutto Sport is showing on their first page. Juventus people is enough of everything. They want to boycott everything that is not related directly to Juve. So that means that all the Juventus official fan clubs are from all around the world, that the 16 clubs of North America, they are asking to boycott and to support even more the team. For example, going on Juventus Twitch for the pre-games instead of watching it on other television. A lot of uh, Italian clubs are asking to stop with Dazon. So you see there are a lot of things that are happening to stop supporting La Lega, Serie A, unfollowing Serie A accounts, stopping to like and these kind of things. Instead of looking the highlights of the game on YouTube of Serie A, instead of that watching the highlights only on the Juventus YouTube and these kind of things. Well, there is not only that, because they want to do something absolutely not violent. This is always precise in every letter, but they want to organize a march. A march in, in sign of protest in front of the Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio office in Roma to show that they are not happy and that they are not accepting the way that Juventus is treating at the moment. Corriere dello Sport is saying Milano sparita, Milano, the city disappeared, Milan and that lost yesterday for zero and Inter that lost 1-0 plus 12 for Napoli in Serie A but then they are also showing Elkan Elkan that is saying Serie A is at risk a lot of words yesterday in La Stampa from the owner of Exor and by consequence Juventus saying that Juventus is the most loved and the most followed team in Italy it represents also our national team we know it how many times 82 also the 2020 uh, 2006 every time that Juventus is involved in the Italian clubs, a lot of time we are winning. They, he continued, the injustice of this sentence is evident. Guys, he's saying it's unjust, it is not correct. Many have said, said so, even the, player, the people that are not supporting Juventus. And we will firmly defend ourselves to protect the interests of Juve fans and of all those who love football. And I love that because he's always, and everyone at Juventus, 
pay attention to it, are always using the words fence. They want to bring up the fence again as a priority in the foreground. And that's really, really beautiful. I hope that along with other clubs and the government, we could change football in our country to build a sustainable and ambitious future. Juventus is not the problem, but instead is and has always been and will always be part of the solution. Here, the future of Serie A, which is becoming marginal and irrelevant, is at stake. So important words from John Elkan. Then you have also Evra yesterday that spoke on Instagram with a 2 minute 30, 3 minutes uh, video or reel that was fantastic speaking and sharing about Juventinita, asking the supporters to back up the team even more because it's too easy to support Juventus when things are going well. But now a moment of difficulty is continuing. He's doing a promise to the haters of Juventus, to the people that are mocking you, the Napoli fans, Inter, Milan, even if Inter and Milan, after the two last results, they calm themselves a bit. But they are saying, let them, because they won. They are winning at the moment. They are first in the ranking. But attenzione, because Juventus never dies. Because our history never dies. We will come back. This is a promise. Juventus will come back as they always did. It's the moment to support. Because we already show them that we are the biggest club in Italy. He's also asking the players and the management to do one thing. Fighting for this. For the shirt. Beautiful message from our friend uh, Patrice Evra. Gazzetta dello Sport is speaking also about the same title as Corriere. Il Milan è sparito. Not the Milan, the city. Of course, they will not speak bad about Inter, but instead they are speaking bad about Milan that yesterday lost 4 0 versus Lazio. They said they disappeared. I want to go inside the paper because they are speaking about Juventus saying Juve, only Pogba could stay from the stars. Di Maria and Rabiot. If Juventus are not going in um, in Europe for the competition of European competition, Champions League or Europa League, whatever it is, well, Rabiot and Di Maria, they are certain to leave. Attenzione, occhio, pay attention also to Vlaovic. The only one that could potentially stay is Paul Pogba. I have a lot of questions for Romeo Agresti here. Who can stay? Who can leave? Because Gazette de los Sport is already starting with Juventus will go out of the cup. They know already. They already put it there. They will be out of the cup for one, two, three years. And the stars will leave. Everyone will leave. You start with only Pogba. Pogba in the middle of the field. I don't want to spoil too much about what they wrote. I want to ask it to Romeo Agresti. And I will also ask him what Gazette de los Sport was speaking about uh, Max Allegri yesterday. Because two days ago, they told me that that was poor, that Conte will come back, that it was sure Conte would come back, he would be the trainer of next year. Yesterday, they told me that Allegri will extend until 2027. Boo, I, I can't follow Gazzetta dello Sport, which, what is true, what is not true. Let's ask Romeo Agresti this evening, so I give you meeting again at 9.30 p.m. Italian time, 3.30 New York time, based on where you are. Check the, the watch, for example, UK 8.30. And you put a reminder, the live is already programmed. Go for it. Grazie, forza. Juve.